This is going to be a 20 minute hip mobility flow. The only piece of equipment you're going to need here is a foam roller and potentially a soft surface for your knees. So we are going to start with some foam rolling. The first spot we are going to get is the quad. So you're going to get set up in a plank position with one leg on the foam roller. While you're here, you're going to roll up and down about an inch or two at a time, bending your knee and straightening it back out whenever you find an extra tender spot. We are going to spend one minute working on each side. We've spent about two minutes on the foam roller now, so we are going to transition into our next spot. The second spot we're going to roll is going to be our adductor. So we're going to turn the foam roller long ways, and then we are going to get the inside of our leg set up on the roller. So we're still in a similar position, we're almost in a plank, just now we're rolling another part of the leg. Instead of bending your knee, because we're already bent here, when you find a tender spot, you have two options. You can pick your heel up towards the ceiling, or you can go ahead and straighten out your leg. Either one is fine. The last spot we are going to roll is the glutes, so we're going to get the roller set up in a way where we can take a seat on top of it. From here, bring one hand back behind you to support your weight, and then lean towards the first side you are going to roll. So we are focusing the most on the upper outer part of your glutes, the very top of your butt. And if you feel stable here, you can cross the leg that you are rolling so that the ankle is resting just above your knee. This is going to allow you to get into a little stretch and get a little deeper into the glutes.
After six minutes of foam rolling, we're gonna transition to some stretching, kneeling hip flexor stretch first. So get set up in a lunge and then send your hips forward, getting a nice stretch in your hip flexor. While you're here, I want you to focus on a deep breath in through the nose. You can exhale through either the nose or the mouth. Try and feel your breath expanding into the belly. We've been holding for 30 seconds, so now we're going to squeeze the back glute as hard as we can to try and get into just a little bit deeper of a stretch in that hip flexor. Still focusing on your deep breath. Keep holding, we're almost there. Carefully get out of it. We're going to go ahead and straighten out the front leg, send the hips back chest up we are transitioning into a hamstring stretch so now we holding here should feel the back side of the leg maybe even down into the calf getting a stretch Alright, let's carefully get out of this hamstring stretch and come back into your lunge position. Flow your hips forward into your hip flexor stretch, send the hips back, straighten out the front leg, hamstring stretch. We're going to alternate these two positions for three reps, and then we're going to go ahead and switch on over to the other side. Once again, starting with the hip flexor stretch, our foot is just in front of our knee, sending our hips forward, getting a nice stretch through that hip flexor. And our one minute is just about up, so get ready to transition into that kneeling hamstring stretch. Straighten out the front leg, toes come up, send the hips back, and sit back into that hamstring stretch. Holding here, one minute. All right, carefully get out of this position, come through to the lunge, flow the hips forward, hip flexor stretch, hips back, hamstring stretch, going back and forth at your own pace for three reps. And then from here, let's transition into our adductor stretch. So one leg is going to be straight out to the side, our other leg is set up in a kneeling position. From here, inhale at the top, exhale, flow your hips back. If this is too much for the knee, we can always come out and hold a straddle stretch instead. If your legs cannot go this wide or you can't reach quite as far forward, that is totally fine. Just do what you can today. 
but the preference is this kneeling adductor rock back. So if this is a possibility for you, let's go ahead and stick with this option. We're going for 10 reps here. Then we'll transition on over to the other side. 10 reps of our kneeling adductor rock back on the outs other side, getting a nice stretch on the inside of our leg. We are going to now transition into a 90-90 hip switch. So get set up with your knees both at a 90 degree bend. From here, our heels are gonna stay in the same spot. We're just gonna pick up the knees and turn over the opposite direction. If you need to use your hands for support as you get the hang of this movement, that is fine. But the goal is that we're reaching straight ahead, straight forward. We are going for 10 reps here, and then we're going to pause on the leading leg. So let's go ahead and get both arms straight on either side of the front leg. I'm not letting my chest creep forward, keeping good posture here. I'm going to pick up my back heel and then control it down. I just pointed at my hip because most likely that's going to be where you feel this movement. You might get a cramping sensation and if you need to straighten out the leg and give it a second before you jump back into your reps, that is totally fine. We're going for 10 reps each side. Once you've finished up 10 on your first side, we're going to be transitioning over to the second side. And more reps on your second side pay attention here is one leg easier than the other can you get your heel up a centimeter off the floor an inch a whole foot where are we at just take a quick mental note pay attention for if we ever revisit this mobility flow in the future We've stretched out the hips a ton today, so now we're going to throw in a stability movement to try and ensure that we can maintain control of all of the range we have created. Arms out to the side, press your low back into the floor, pick your hips up, squeezing your butt at the top. We are going to hold a glute bridge here for 30 seconds. Make sure as we hold, your big toes stay down, pressing into the floor. Your hips are staying up as high as possible. And we're keeping those knees pressed out. Don't let them collapse in towards one another. After our 30 second hold, we're gonna transition into a marching glute bridge. Elbows drive into the floor. One knee comes into the chest that elbow is going to be pressed into the floor harder than the opposite side it is replacing your foot for stability we are going to go for 10 reps here five each leg moving at your own pace short pause at the top of each rep And then once we have done 10 reps, we are going to carefully control our hips back down towards the floor. Hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side, massage that low back just a little bit. And when you're ready, we're going to transition up to a standing position. I want you to get set up in your squat stance, whatever that looks like for you, and then lower yourself down into a squat hold. So we are going to get our elbows on our knees today, hands together, lightly press out on those knees. 
We are gonna hold here for one minute. Make sure as you're holding here, your heels are staying down. If you need to get your heels set up on the handles of some dumbbells, on a small plate, on a small book, in order to be comfortable in this position, that is totally fine. The legs might start to burn after a while here, but please fight through it. It's only a minute long. I know you guys can all hold one minute. Now, last 15 seconds, reach forward. Let's lightly press up out of our squat, get nice and active in this position. Last couple seconds here. And then once our minute is up, carefully make your way out of the squat. We're going to go ahead, sit back down, bring your feet together. And then when you're ready, carefully roll down to your back. Let's get the palms facing up towards the ceiling. Let your knees relax out to the side as much as possible. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. We are going to finish with some breathing. So in through the nose for three to four seconds. Exhale through the mouth for six to eight seconds. And your goal here is to be breathing into your belly. So feel the breath expand into your belly. And as you exhale, feel the belly relax back down. We are going to spend about one more minute here. Just let all that hip mobility settle into your body. Stay in this position as long as you would like. Just be mindful that whenever you are ready to get up, you might be just a little bit dizzy, so please be careful getting out of this position. I appreciate you taking the time to join me today and taking the time to do some self-care for your body. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace and love.